What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Sky Hill. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little bit. Our character looks like he's breathing sort of heavily right now. I should probably take care of some stuff before he hyperventilates. So in the previous episode, we're actually having a really good run this time around. It's a little bit of a shame that the first run didn't go this well, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta bang your head against a problem multiple times before you get to solve it. So what I wanted to do is we wanted to craft, and I think the thing I was gonna do is I was gonna upgrade the... I could upgrade the workbench, and I could upgrade, yeah, so I could upgrade the workbench, and I could upgrade the bed, or I could upgrade the kitchen and upgrade the bed, and I think those are my two options for right now. I don't know which one's a better call. We got a pretty good loot list right now, so I'm not super concerned about food, so maybe I'll go with the workbench and make it a little bit better. Let's go ahead and craft that on up. So we got the level two workbench. And we got the level 2 bed. I would. I would absolutely love to make the door a little bit more reinforced. It looks like there's only one level up right there. So, you know, we'll put it in when we get the points. But for right now, let's see what new stuff we got out of here. Oh my god, there's all kinds of shit in here, isn't there? We got a sword saw. We got a sword saw on that side. So you gotta have a... Ch Ooh, we have a machete. What kind of dexterity weapons do we have around here? I know that I've been waiting on the crowbar for a little bit. So the guitar is speed. We can do a spear, which is dexterity 16, and that takes a stick, two electrical tape, and a knife. I'll probably hold out for that one then. That seems pretty sick, and I'm a little bit excited about the possibilities there. But first things first, I would need to find some other stuff. We also got a military shovel, which sounds gnarly as hell. I don't even know what that would even do. I assume that it would dig most militarily. It looks like you can actually get more stuff unlocked, though. So I wonder, like, it says that you only... Oh, never mind, there's three upgrades here. Okay, so I, I missed out on that one. My bad, sis. So I think for right now, let's take a look at the food. I would have liked to unlock a little bit better of food, but we just don't have the supplies for it right now. And so instead of doing that, I will probably eat the nuts. That's right, Splattercat eating nuts on camera. As far as the egg goes, I don't think I have anything that the egg would be useful for, so I'll eat that as well. I'll probably eat the rice, although I can virtually guarantee you later on you'll be able to make like musubi or something with fish and rice or some kind of sushi or sashimi or something, and it's probably going to be better than what I have. But for right now, i got to focus on the little things. The little things. We could also use some health. Like, damn, our health is bad. And so there goes a little bit more health. The next thing that we could possibly do is we could rest for a little while, and that'll take us up to... Let's go for two hours of sleep, I guess. Someone snuck into my room last night. In the morning, I noticed a missing rice. At least I'm still alive. Okay, so we got robbed. He lifted our rice. It's unfortunate. Didn't I already eat the rice? Oh, well, whatever. Rice, you stole my rice, and that's not nice. Oh my god, there's a monster. Let's go ahead and mop him in the face a couple of times. And dodge his attack because he's a rube that can't see me properly. That's what you get. He's like, ah, you're making fun of my ocular impairment again. I see how that goes. I think we're trying to work our way into a crowbar right now. And so that takes seven speed. So I'll probably go in like that right there so that we can use the crowbar. Oh my god, it looks like it gets both bonuses. Holy shit, that thing hits hard. Okay, we're in business now. Ah, I've been shivved. This is the guy with one HP left, so I'm just going to deck him in his face real fast. And that'll be it. It looks like he has an overripe pepper. Doesn't sound very helpful. There's a lot of rotten food around here, but I guess that's to be expected in a post-apocalyptic world. Did I teleport down further than I could actually be right now? I think I may have. Oh, shit. We're gonna miss a whole bunch, aren't we? 14 damage right there. I was hoping we'd start to- oh, Jesus. What's our hit chance with this? 80%? I might put some points into accuracy just so we aren't, you know, baiting out those misses anymore. We got some extra antibiotics. Not exact- oh, hey, we got some wood right there, so that'll be nice. The wood will help us out with some of our upgrades. I don't think I checked this floor either, and being that I am sort of a completionist like that, I'd kind of like to be here. So let's go ahead and deal some damage real quick. If we get rid of him in like two turns, that would be absolutely fantastic. We got some more coins, some mutant's blood, got some cloth off the shelf, an egg, a little bit of metal, and a brick. Man, we are getting some loot this time around. I tell you what, Nerd Castle, we're getting some serious, serious stipends from this place, so I think... Since I don't, we got an overripe bell pepper. That kind of looks like, I guess it does sort of look like a pepper. I should probably get rid of those, right? Is there anything that I can do with the gambly stuff? Like, it just seems like a risk to me. A risk that's really not being worth, like, I guess you lose 8 health on some of it. I suppose that if it gives you more than 10 hunger, it would be worth it as, like, a trade-off. 
So for example, like this one right here, you're basically gambling with the whole thing. I probably shouldn't have thrown away the meat because I think the meat gave you 15 hunger or something like that. I'm trying to hold on to some of this stuff until I find better things along the way. I'll eat the egg for right now. But that seems alright. I think we're in an okay spot right now. I should probably craft myself at least an antidote or two. So I'll do that real fast, and then I'll use that one for 5 health, because why not? Seems alright to me. Yeah, it looks like I bypassed a bunch of floors. And since I now have a weapon that allows me to womp most heavily upon the skulls of my foes, I think I'm just gonna stick with what I have for right now. Ow! Bitch bastard! Stop that. Keep striking me and it makes me upset. Oh, that was totally worth it. Alright, well, hunger well spent, I guess. We need gears over here. I'm gonna go for it. It cost us a rag, but it was finished off. It also cost us 11 hunger, which is actually pretty expensive. We got a small med kit right there, which I'm gonna use right this second because our health is not looking so good. I'm gonna hold off on my hunger. What is that? Pet food? Can I eat that? Hey, 20 hunger. I'll take it. Anything that makes me look a little bit less emaciated. And since we're out of food right now, I'll probably go all in on this vending machine right here. And just hope that I get something good out. What kind of vending machine has like random acorns inside of it? That's so random. Can can I make a like vegetable salad in here or something with that? So a vegetable salad, you need broccoli and any other vegetable. I really feel like I should be able to make some of this with this nut, but I guess I might be being greedy. Another combat to be fought in. I could probably one-shot this guy by gambling, but I think I'd rather just miss and then also sit here and wait for him to die. Got another note on the wall. Attention, please. This is not a drill. Please proceed to the nearest biohazard shelter. Do not panic. Women and children first. Alright, so a bandage and some chocolates right there. Nothing right there, though, except for a red hand on the wall. Sometimes you gotta get a grip on the wall while you're bleeding profusely and just be like, Please help me, wall. I don't want you- Oh, never mind. I was clicking on the wrong thing. I lost my mouse cursor. I thought my mouse cursor was the red thing over the top of him. It's a little upsetting. It's empty right there. There's a vending machine that has random knick-knackery right here. I'll probably use it. See what's up. We got another glue, so, you know. If you like having lots of glue, welcome to the Thunderdome. Let's see here. What else do I have available? I got a bunch of chocolate, a bunch of nuts that are not going to be useful for right now. So I'm going to eat the nuts real quick. Egg is not immediately useful either. The water could be useful later for a couple of different things. We have so much glue and so much wood right now. I'll probably try and go up from the next elevator. We'll have a look at what we can take care of. I know for some people this game seems like it would be a little bit repetitive. But weirdly enough, I just feel like playing it. Like I really sincerely do. There's an electronic security system. Put your shoulder into it, man. I bet you could bust it. Oh, look at that. We got a keycard recorder. Tend to believe that the stories of murders were ritualistic in nature. Regardless, it is safe to assume that the murderer suffers from a severe neurological disorder. In every registered case, the murder weapon was self-made, indicating the murderer is a skilled crafter. This also complicates the identification of the weapon itself. The press has already dubbed the killer the mechanic. Huh. I wonder if I'm the killer. And I'm just, like, going through these floors, and I think everybody's a monster because I'm hallucinating. I'm all schizophrenic out. But in reality, these are just like normal people that are trying to fight back, and that's why they all have like normal clothing on. Something oh. disturbs me. I don't remember clearly what happened before the disaster, but I remember their faces, especially my little Nikki's. She had her maths exam next month. Back then, she was so worried, so concerned. Enough. I'm driving myself crazy. For now, I just bear my miserable cross, looting ruins and hiding from the mutants, and looking for a reason to keep going. Well, there's a sexy lady waiting for us on the 81st floor. What better reason to have adventures than sexy ladies? I mean, it's kind of a given, like, hey, I don't have a blank key card. Well, that's sort of upsetting. Okay, well, what I can do is I can make a stick, which we need anyways. So I'm gonna craft the stick real fast. I'm trying to get to that weapon that's over here. I want that spear. Spear sounds hella sick. I want that super badly. I love spears. Spears are my favorite thing in the whole world when it comes to martial weaponry. And so in order to get... Wait, was that what I was looking at? Right there? So I need two electrical tape in order to get that done. 
In order to make the electrical tape, I need glue and rags. So I need one more rag, and then I can make a super badass spear. We're about to level, and we would just like wrecking ball our way through here. Oh my god, I want it so badly. Okay, so since the game is going to be cruel to me right now, and it's not going to let me have what I want, it may be a better decision to upgrade the kitchen, which takes a brick and a stick. I figure we'll find more wood along the way, so let's just make a brick and a stick for right now, and we'll see what new foods have been unlocked. So we can do fried fish, which raises fish from 15. Oh, look at that. We can make bread with flour and water. So that turns 11 hunger into 15 hunger. And then it can actually be even better for you if you use it with other stuff. So it seems like a pretty good plan. Might not be a bad call. Wanted to take a look and see what I had, though, before I did anything else. So it looks like I can only do fried fish and bread. Craft the fried fish real fast. So that's going to take us up 22. I'm actually going to eat that right now. Why not? And then I'm going to craft as much bread as I can get out. Oh, there it is. Won't be good for the constipation. Really won't. Sincerely. It's going to be bad for the constipation, but... So that turns 27 into 32. You're getting an extra 5 out of there. Sounds good to me. Throw that into the pile of stuff. Now, it stands to reckon that so long as I have things in my, in in my inventory, I could potentially lose them as a result of bad rolls when I go and try and do, like, various challenges... However, can I sleep for a little while? Health is kind of low. Nothing happened while I was sleeping. No news is good news, as they say. Alright, so let's go back down to the bottom floor here. Go down to 76. Be where we're at. It looks like we can fix something right there if we really want to. Holy shit. Ow! He's got like a giant lightsaber nightstick. That thing is huge. Hey, we got a double turn. I like double turns. What does he drop? Anything good? He's empty? We got 30 XP, though. I guess that's not so terrible. It'll also give us a level up, which means we can get at that spear pretty soon. What do we need for the spear? I only want to go up to the bare minimum, so we needed 16 dexterity. Okay, so with 16 dexterity, is there anything else that I like better? So that does, with the spear, you can go 12 to 15... But with the scythe, you can go 13 to 16. If we wanted to work on our speed a little bit. Then again, I was complaining about my accuracy. So it might be worth it to put some... Oh, wow, you get a fat bonus to accuracy right there. Okay. So I didn't realize that was going to roll over quite so well. That means that the stuff that we had 80% chance to hit, we now have an 86% chance to hit, if I'm assuming that that works the way that I think it works. We got bandages right there for some health. Might be worth it to hold on until I get something else so that I can turn that into a med kit, maybe. We're starting to see new enemies, though. Bigger, newer, nastier enemies. It's locked, and I need a key. What does this need? Wire? You know, I have scrap metal. Here, I can go back up to the top floor. And then, I think I can make scrap metal out of... Yeah, I'm sorry. I can make wire out of scrap metal. That's actually a really, really easy thing to carry around with me. And so, I'll do that right there. We'll go back down to the bottom floor require me to go down to here and I just want to keep everything wired together like I just don't want to run out of my teleportational abilities it's getting too far for us to walk back to our basement or I'm sorry it's getting too far for us to walk back to our VIP room and so now would be the time that we want to make 100% abundantly clear I'm sorry abundantly careful or I guess we want to make it ironed out fleshed out I don't know what I'm trying to say right now my brain is not working. I'm going to use both of these because why not? I'd rather have high health than no health. I'm going to eat the cheese sandwich to get my hunger back up. And then I'll probably try and hold on to the remainder. So like this one right here. That was a chance you could take. And so you get 18 out of it, but you only lost 8 health. I guess with the meat, it's a good gamble to go with. But with some of the other things, you could potentially lose more than you gain. So unless you're really desperate, you don't want to take it. So that actually worked the way that I thought it would work. Oh, it does. So I'll probably try and take accuracy up from here until we get a spear. And once that's all done and taken care of, sounds good to me. The Confederates missed one thing. It doesn't matter how big you are if you're on the wrong side of a numbers game. After they started a war with New Europe, they totally forgot the rest of the world has a grudge against them. Now they're pacing like a lion in a cage, and that cage is shrinking around them every minute. It will destroy them. Okay, so I like how they give you little snippets as to what's been happening inside the game world as well. If the combat doesn't intrigue you, and really sort of the game feels overly simple, they seem to release information about the game at a good enough pace 
to where you feel like you're learning stuff about the game world along the way. Now, I don't know what that does for replayability, because once you found all the notes and everything like that, meh, you know, there's not going to be, oh, we got, oh, that's cool. It took it straight off the shelf. Did you see that? The liquor was on the shelf, and then I picked it up off the shelf. That's pretty sweet. I'll take that. Got alcohol right now. Can I craft anything in my food menu? Could boil some rice if you got water and rice. We lost our rice, though. We did have a lot of water, so that's pretty cool. We don't have any chance. I thought I picked up a coin just a minute ago. Let's see if I can get some damage off on this dude before anything else goes wrong. Please don't run away. Ugh. He is just ducking me today, isn't he? A little bit of sugar and some mutant's blood. Then we got some rags out of there, which is precisely what we needed in order to finish our spear, I think. So I'm going to have to wait and see. Oh, it's going to take me electrical tape to get this done. Let me take a look at my inventory real fast. So with the weapons. Oh, I need another stick. Which I don't have. Alright, so just use the electrical tape then. I'd rather keep a direct junction back to our VIP hotel room. Then, you know, worry about stuff that I can craft more of later anyways. The help never came. I wander through the streets day after day, occasionally glancing at the sky above, in hope to see an army helicopter or fighter jet, or at least a balloon. And there's nothing. Those who survive gathered on squares, painted enormous SOS signs on the ground, lit fires, only to become mutant chow. <laughs> Noise attracts them. I'd rather stay alone. Well, nobody wants to be mutant chow. I mean, I guess you could have a worse choice in dogs, though. You could be like a mutant chihuahua. I would take a mutant chow chow over that, because chow chows are gangster. Chow chows are like DGAF defined. I'll go ahead and take 50 right there. I actually, I really want a chow chow. I can't have one at my apartment complex, though. No assault breeds allowed. So you can't have German Shepherds. What the hell is a key, dude? Does it just open a room? Interesting. New message from Witness. And he said, we shall meet in 64 heaven and you shall be reborn in primal purity. 14-2. Are you just making up your own Bible at this point? Well, you know, the world ended, so I figured I had to work on something. Can't rest on your laurels. This is a new world where the guy that makes the religion wins. We've got, what the hell is that? Overripe Kern? Get the corn out of my face! That's still like one of my favorite movie qu like the quotes of all time. I also like it. <laughs> I do when he's talking about how he doesn't believe in God. It's from Nacho Libre, as I recall. Nacho! That movie was way funnier than it should have been, because it was kind of a dumb movie. But God, I laughed at that movie. It was like a guilty, I shouldn't laugh at this type of laugh, but I still did. So anyways... My other favorite quote from that movie is when Esqueleto, <laughs> they're talking about why they never win. And Jack Black's like, we never win because you do not believe in God. And Esqueleto's like, we do not win because you are fat. That's like my favorite <laughs> that entire movie. Every time I laugh at that, the look on his face cracks me up every single time. Every single time. And then the, get the corn out of my face. When he slaps, something about a grown man slapping buttered corn just makes me laugh. So, our health situation is resolved. I was a little bit worried about our health. So, that one actually works. It looks like we can take a battery and maybe... I don't know if you can... Put a battery inside that thing. This one has a battery. That one does not. And so, I assume that somewhere in here you can combine them. Oh, there it is. So, just in case you wanted some more keycard recorders. I can make that happen, Kevin. You got a coin right there. I could really use a little bit more wood. I could use another bit of rags. But aside from that, I think we're in pretty good shape right now. I mean, I'm not trying to... Hey! Electrical tape! Hell yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's go back. I think we can make our spear now, I think. Unless I'm just, like, totally way off. Oh, no. I used up my stick, didn't I? What did I use my stick on? Where did the stick go? Shit! Stick? What did I use the stick on? I used it to upgrade the kitchen, didn't I? I used it to upgrade my kitchen. Balls. I want that spear so badly, but we're lacking a stick right now. And all I want in the whole world is a stick. That's all that I want. 
I think you can make a blade out of a couple of different objects if you really need to. How much sheet metal do I have? Make some more nails real fast, too, because I got three sheet metal, so why worry about it? Actually, sort of overstocked in that regard. It looks like I can make a cheese sandwich again, so I will absolutely do that. Make another cheese sandwich so that if we get hungry along the way, you got something to munch on. I personally don't like cheese sandwiches that much. I usually just go with like bread, mayo, mustard, and then just like a fat stack of deli meat if I'm making a sandwich. I like cheese, but it's extra calories for me, and I try to keep myself trim, so you know. If it comes with cheese in the first place at like a restaurant, I'm not gonna be like, no cheese, but. Uh, I should be able to make some wire on my own. I'll try that in just a minute. I think I got the metal to make the wire that that needs. And so we'll go back up to the top. We're almost halfway through the building right now. We are like killing it at the moment. We're a little bit hungry though. So I'm going to eat the sandwich. And I think I could fry an egg or something like that now too. I thought I saw that in the kitchen. Can I fry an egg? Oh, you hit the boiler. You need water. So apparently the water system's not working anymore. That's fine. So that overripe corn does not strike me as being intensely useful. Neither does the bell pepper. Neither does the overripe orange. Got plenty of salad, though, just in case you're into those sorts of things. I don't like salad. I like Caesars, I guess. Actually, I take that back. I like salads nowadays. I like Cobb salads. I like Caesar salads. It's just I don't like salad, like, out of the bag into a bowl eating it dry. Like, it's got to have other stuff in it, like egg or, like, bacon or something to sell the salad a little bit. Dress it up a little bit. I needed to make sheet metal. That's what it, or I'm sorry. I need to make wire. That's what it was. Let's go ahead and craft some wire real quick. And then I'll actually make two of those because I find myself needing wire like all the time. And so we'll go back down to the 66th floor. We'll patch that up real quick so that we can make it back to our base very, very easily. Did I go in there? It sort of looks like I did. Oh, I've been stabbed. How mundane. Who would have thought that I would get stabbed? Got some more rags, overripe corn, and some liquor. This guy is kind of nude compared to all the other monsters that have been around, but... I guess it'll have to do for right now. There's a new message from the witness. As he defeated the evil spirits, he entered the 59 gates that led to heaven, and he gave away the apple of his eye. Hmm. Got the rag, we got the brick. How often did people in ancient times stare at apples and trees to where they came up with the saying, apple of my eye? Like, that must have been a very, almost an occupational thing. People staring at apples all the time so much that they made a saying about it like I have I look at apples very rarely like sincerely I just grab the ones that I want out of the bin at the grocery store real fast there's no like apple of my eye or whatever we took a lot of damage right there luckily I got a lot of medical supplies so I don't really care that much got coffee on that side I think you can make coffee and cream though I think oh no you need water right there I thought you could do something with the coffee though yeah you can make coffee with milk and so you'll get 24 out of what would eh, that's not even whatever not gonna stress about it it's not enough for me to care it's not enough for me to care and so I'll probably keep the liquor just in case I needed to get myself a couple more bandages because we do have rags and so I'll kind of keep those things around just in case I need emergency heals or whatever got a fish right there which is pretty useful because it means that I can fry that once we get back upstairs I can't continue with that freak well of course he's gonna attack us after you call him a freak man poor guy Walk in here, call him a freak, and then beat him to death with a crowbar. What you should have done is complimented him. You'd be like, hey, how's it going, guy in the elevator room? What's an elevator room called? Like, what is this called right here? The annex? The elevator annex? I don't know what to call that right there. A little bit of a murderous goal right here. Oh, no more stabbing. And we got a staff. Can we be Gandalf? Oh, we're about to be Gandalf. Gandalf. Takes six dexterity and nine speed, and it gives nine to ten damage versus the crowbar. You know, I'm probably just gonna stick with accuracy for right now. The plus twenty percent will take us up, I think, into the positive. Maybe put a little bit more into speed right here, but frankly, going more dexterity seems like the better plan. The double turn is nice and all, but the chance to dodge is also equally awesome. I guess I could have taken that up and put it into speed and we could have moved into the staff, but I'm actively trying to make a spear right now anyways. So I'd be moving in that direction, just planning on upgrading later, so it'd be more of a side grade anymore. Oh wow, we one-shotted him. Holy shit. We are the bestest. We are the champions at clubbing. Let's go back up to the top floor. Make myself a stick. 
because I feel like a dick for not having a stick. And then we will make a weapon that can dip its wick in the bodies of our foes. Oh, this is gonna be my jam. So it does 16.5 to 19.5 versus... Oh, really? That one stacks better with your stats. Oh, that's because it's drawing from two separate stats. This one is still better, but probably get better mileage out of some of the things like that right there that are hybrided out. It seems like they do a lot better. And that would actually be something that I think the development team would probably want to look at, because it's sort of... there's Maybe it's just something that I'm not seeing, that I'm not eyeballing properly, but what would be the benefit of pure weapons then over, I guess, that you only have to dump things into one stat, but still, what would be the benefit of pure weapons over hybrid weapons, since the hybrid weapons seem to be almost universally better? Interesting. A little bit of a waste. It's still an upgrade. Not much of one, but it's still kind of an upgrade. It'll work. Need electrical tape right here, and I don't have that right now. I could go make it, but it's the end of the episode, so I figure, for right now, I'm going to see you all in the next episode. This is Sky Hill. Check it out down below. Hi, do everybody.